Well, Happy New Year to all of you from all of us here at Litson Motors here in Forest City, where we're only literally one mile north of the Winnebago Industries facility here in Forest City, Iowa. I want to welcome all of you back to Litson TV for our January webcast. And I also want to welcome back the return of an icon from Winnebago Industry, where today we will give the nation's first glance to the 2014 Winnebago Mini Winnie and also the Itasca by Winnebago Industry Spirit. I want to welcome all of you back. Also, I want to welcome behind the camera Josh Dam, our marketing director, as well as Casey Singlestead, our RV sales manager. Today, what we're going to be doing is walking you through the all new 2014 Winnebago Mini Winnie. Uh, this is the 31 foot floor plan. Uh, we'll also be taking your questions live. And if you look in the lower right hand corner of your TV screen right now, you can actually log in with your first name and submit any type of question that you'd like. We have a couple hundred people live on our webcast right now that are watching from all over the world and we already have a couple of questions that are submitted so I will interrupt the uh, webcast as we go to cover all of your questions. We want to make this as interactive and as, as successful as we've had in the past. So again, keep your questions coming in. We'll go through a presentation of the 31 foot mini Winnie and then we'll also cover your questions as we go and then we'll also leave things open at the end. One final reminder, uh, we can do this live one-on-one -on -one with each of you at any point in time with any of our sales consultants here at Litz and Motors. On any type of in-stock coach that we have, we can do live from the convenience of your own home or office. Uh, we can also um, conference in a partner or spouse if they're at a different location and actually do a three-way with respect to the fact that we can cover any type of unit that you'd like to. So again, welcome. Please uh, uh, chat your questions in and I'm going to turn the uh, webcast over to Casey Singlestead, our RV sales manager. All right, welcome everybody. As Ryan mentioned, we're in the brand new 2014 uh, Winnebago Mini Winnie. Uh, the specific floor plan that we're in today is the 31K. Uh, in the new 2014 Mini Winnie and Itasca Spirit, there are three different floor plans that will be available. Um, like I said, today we're gonna go through the 31K. Uh, there's also a 31H floor plan that will feature bunk beds, um, as well as a 25B, which is a nice little compact uh, floor plan that has a corner bed in it as well. So um, in the 31K, we'll kind of start here in our entry and work our way around, uh, kind of show you some of the details of this new coach. Um, and like Ron had mentioned, make sure that you ask any questions as we go, um, and we're happy to address those for you. So uh, right here in your stairwell, um, of course, Winnebago still gives you the screen door so that you can get some nice fresh air ventilation uh, when you are out camping. Um, as far as things that are located here in the entry step well, um, it is a nice wide step well. Um, and uh, down in the corner, you have the disconnect for your house battery as well as the control for the electric awning, uh, which is part of uh, one of the upgrade packages that's available in the Mini Winnie. Lots of features that come with that. Uh, moving up from that, you've just got some light switches as well as um, the booster that's for your TV antenna. Uh, the Mini Winnie does uh, have the uh, crank up style TV antenna and you do get the booster for that so that you can get some additional channels that way as well. Um, as you can see in, uh, in the 31K we do have some really nice countertop space here um, as well as a nice large 32 inch LED TV. So really great TV viewing, great location uh, for you to see that from both the U-shaped dinette as well as the sofa that are on the opposite side as the galley. Yeah, the expansive galley that's here in the 31 foot floor plan is, is somewhat of a throwback to the 31C floor plan that we literally built for close to 15 years. Um, one of the things that people really enjoyed is the massive amount of cooking space and now we've made the uh, residential setup with the television uh, at eye level from the U-shaped dinette or the sofa. Right, something that comes along with the fact that you do have some really great countertop space is also the fact that you have some great storage, um, both overhead as well as down below, uh, with cabinets as well as drawers available for that. So you can take a look here at some of that overhead storage that uh, spans the entire galley area. And uh, down below we have even more cabinet space both with cabinet drawers as well as a full drawer stack next to that. Um, full, lots of space down below the sink as well as below the three burner range as well. Take a look at some of those drawers. And Casey, if I can interrupt with a question. Um, Alan chatted in with a question wanting to know what construction the overhead roof is made out of, which is a good question because that is a change for Winnebago this year. 
Yep, um, throughout the Winnebago lineup, uh, you will find one-piece fiberglass, one-piece fiberglass ropes. However, on the 2014 Mini Winnie and the Itasca Spirit, it is a rubber roof. Um, on the exterior and then as you can see on the interior that we're looking at now um, this is the the hard vinyl ceiling is the material that that's made out of yeah we've had a lot of questions on the roof material and you know one advantage to the uh, all new membrane roof that we're using for 2014 in the Mini Winnie and in the Spirit is that it does come with a 12-year uh, parts warranty and a five-year labor warranty. So uh, certainly durable uh, with all the quality from Winnebago Industries. You know, although this has been positioned as a value leader in the industry with a base MSRP of about $74,000, all the quality of Winnebago remains throughout the entire coach that we'll cover here this afternoon. Yep. So throughout the coach, you'll, um, uh, as far as the flooring goes, you have some really high endurance vinyl that's located throughout the entire coach. Very easy to clean and very attractive. Uh, Winnebago still mounts. All of your furnace ducts are located up on, at the bottom of the cabinetry. If you want to take a look over here, Josh, um, along the floor. So you don't have any metal floor registers located throughout the floor that can get debris lodged into them as well as they're very cold. Um, so mounted, uh, the furnace is mounted up top. You do have ducted air conditioning throughout the roof or excuse me, throughout the ceiling. So we'll kind of make our way through the galley here. You have a nice large double bowl sink with the uh, high rise faucet there. And also the uh, three burner range with the uh, vent as well as the light that's located just above that. And then of course your microwave uh, just above your vent as well. So just next to the microwave is where you're going to find some of your controls. So uh, just here, this is, this is your slide room control. Uh, very easy to operate the slide rooms here. Um, just a simple push button system. So you'll simply need to uh, have your parking brake engaged and then we encourage you to have your engine running. And it's simply just by the push of a button that you can run your slide room in and out. Um, this does have what many would refer to as a super slide that includes the U-shaped dinette as well as a sofa. Down below it is where you'll find uh, your one place panel. This is going to be kind of your central location for a lot of your controls. So you can start and stop your generator from here as well as you have um, the display that shows you how many hours are on your generator. As well as lots of things that have to do with your water. Um, your LP water heater, your water pump switch, as well as your levels test. And so this will show you exactly where all your tanks are at. Um, as you all know, um, Winnebago does a really great job of making this extremely easy to read with the simple push, push button and light up system. And if I can just interrupt for a quick second here as we're covering some of these gauges, we're going to jump around here a little bit. We've got a couple of questions, one relating to the bathroom setup that we're going to cover here in a moment. Um, Beth had uh, chatted in a question. We'll cover this in a little bit more detail when we get up to the cab area, but wanted to know what the uh, uh, chassis was underneath. And this is built on the E454 chassis, uh, which includes the 6.8 liter uh, Triton V10. Uh, it's paired up with 420 pounds feet of torque, so it certainly has all the power that you'd expect throughout our entire Class C lineup. Um, also, a question in terms of uh, what type of a generator this is, uh, Casey, and you can go ahead and cover that if you'd like. Yep, this does have the uh, Cummins Onan gas generator. And let me just refresh my memory here on what size that is. Four. It's a 4,000 watt um, Cummins Onan gas generator. So again, that'll pull fuel straight off of your fuel tank um, is what will power that. It'll go all the way down to a quarter tank of fuel. Um, so that way you are still able to, of course, run your coach to get uh, to the nearest gas station to refill that. So it'll run off of your top three quarters tank. And then actually, if I can interrupt again, uh, Monty had chatted in a question wanting to know what the uh, largest size uh, Mini Winnie is, which would be uh, the 31 foot that we're in right now. This is the traditional floor plan that includes the large super slide. Um, what's unique about this though, and Josh, if you can slide over here uh, with respect to the super slide, is that this includes the U-shaped dinette, uh, which is just a real large expansive area that converts into a bed. And uh, the other uh, 31 foot model that we'll have shortly as the 14s continue to roll out with the Mini Winnie and Spirit lineup is the bunk bed model, which is similar to the current Access 31J. So good question, Chad, in there in terms of what the floor plans look like. Yep, so both the uh, 31H, which would be the floor plan that has the bunk beds, as well as the 31K are um, both 32 foot 6 inches. So that would be the longest floor plan. Otherwise, your option would be the 25B, which is uh, 26 foot 6 inches. 
All right. We'll kind of work our way uh, farther back. Uh, you have the two-door Norcold refrigerator. Uh, this is both LP as well as electric. So you've seen this in a lot of um, a lot of the Winnebago floor plans have this double door Norcoil refrigerator. Winnebago does uh, upgrade the exterior look by adding uh, the same finish as what your cabinetry is, so it uh, blends in and just aesthetically is really appealing. And a nice forest cherry finish for 2014 in the Mini Winnie in the Spirit. Yep. There are uh, three different interior options uh, when it comes to uh, color schemes for the interior of the coach. Um, and all of the coaches will feature the forest cherry cabinets. Yeah, and that was a good question that William actually just literally had chatted in wanting to know if there are different uh, color options. Uh, this happens to be the coastal palette that we're in um, with a different style of uh, leatherette that you can see here within the seating area. That ties into the color scheme, so uh, it'll vary based on which of the selections you make. And the color selections are the same between the uh, Mini Winnie and the Spirit lines. All right, so as we kind of move back into this hallway area, this is where you'll find um, a pocket door. This will allow you to block off your bathroom as well as your bedroom space for some additional privacy. Again, uh, this is the same forest cherry finish as the rest of your cabinets and just snaps into place so that that stays secure as you're driving down the road and uh, using your coach. The uh, bathroom door that is for your separate toilet room is actually spring-loaded so that it'll rest uh, right here on this ledge so that you can completely make this area private uh, when you are using the bathroom facilities. As you can see, it does have a split bathroom. So the shower is located just across the hallway. It has the hinged glass shower door, which again is part of one of the upgrade packages available for the Mini Winnie and the Spirit. So you do have the one piece pan and one piece surround that's a part of the shower, um, as well as the skylight that will give you some really nice natural light as well as some additional head clearance when you are using the shower. It does have the shower head that uh, you can start and stop as you're showering so that you don't have to adjust the temperature each time and you can conserve water. So a nice spacious shower and as you can tell here we're getting, we're getting some really nice natural light um, because of that skylight. So just across the hallway is where the actual um, toilet room is located which is where I'm standing now. So you have a nice residential style um, good height toilet and of course then the vanity that's located just across from that as well. This does have the fush, foot flush on the toilet. You get some good storage in here in uh, the bathroom both below uh, the sink area as well as the cabinet that's located just above the toilet. And some good uh, hooks for your towels located over here as well. You do have the 12 volt powered vent that's located just above here that we're looking at now. All right, and we'll kind of continue our way back into the bedroom. So one of the really unique things about the Mini Winnie floor plans is both the 31H as well as the 31K have um, a true queen bed located in the, bed in the bedroom. So they are 60 by 80 inches. Uh, which is very rare to find that in a Class C, as many times they're a 60 by 75 inch bed. So you get the full length with this, and uh, you'll notice here kind of a part of your walk around space, you get some really great room to walk around the bed, some nice storage both over top of the bed, um, the shirt closet that's located on the one side, as well as the large wardrobe closet that's over here. So you get some really great space in here, as well as the uh, drawers that are located just below um, for some additional storage here in the bedroom. You'll notice here this ledge. Um, what that actually is, is out on the exterior you have a garage style of storage. Um, it's uh, The 31K has unbelievable amount of exterior storage. It's actually 101 cubic feet, uh, which is really rare for a Class C. So you get some really great exterior storage. Um, and the other coaches are just behind it. The, uh, the bunkhouse uh, floor plan will have about 83 square feet of exterior storage. Um, and then the 25 foot has about 75. So you get some really great storage. This one just has some expansive exterior storage on it. Um, as you can see on the window over here, the uh, Winnebago is utilizing the pleated nightshade 
on the, all of the windows throughout the coach so that you can pull those down for um, some additional privacy and to black that out at night. All right, I think that pretty much covers everything here in the rear. Josh, as you uh, take a look and, and come by here, uh, Monty had uh, chatted in a question wanting to know uh, just how expansive this shower is. So I thought, what better way to display it than actually jump in it? You know, I'm a pretty large guy. Um, I'm about six feet one, and I've got pretty broad shoulders. So this is literally a good visual. However, if you want to give a call to any of our sales consultants, we'd be more than happy to get you actual dimensions of the shower. But again, a lot of room inside this expansive shower, nice skylight. You know, again, I'm about six feet one, but you know, I still have a lot of height clearance, um, plenty of room to move around, and uh, just a real nice big shower for the, for the all new Mini Winnie and Spirit. So there's a good visual for you. Also, as we um, come back out, um, Monty had also chatted in a question here a little bit ago wanting to know whether or not we can actually uh, do an ice maker in this particular coach or whether or not it's in, available throughout the Winnebago lineup. Um, this particular refrigerator does not have the ice maker. It is available in our four-door refrigerator setups, uh, which begins uh, within the uh, uh, Vista lineup on up and then also any of the residential refrigerators. So good questions coming in and keep them coming and uh, I'll turn it back over to Casey. Uh, one thing that I did not mention, I want to make note of as well is in the bedroom, um, though there is not a TV located there um, installed from Winnebago, they do give you all the hookups if you'd want to add a TV at any point. It, it, they are located there in the, bath, in the bedroom, so it's very easy for you to do that um, should you choose to add one down the road. So uh, here in the living space on, on the opposite side of the galley is our super slide that we talked about earlier that features the U-shaped dinette as well as the sofa bed. Uh, one of the really nice safety features that comes as a part of the U-shaped dinette is that it does have the, uh, the child seat anchor, uh, the tether there, so that you do have that additional safety. If you are tra traveling with your children, grandchildren, whatever the case may be, you can anchor in that child seat. Um, so the U-shaped dinette does, of course, uh, fold down to uh, make, a, make an additional sleeping space. Uh, so this coach would be rated to uh, sleep eight people. Mm -hmm. The U-shaped dinette, when that's made down into a bed, it's actually 45 by 82 inches. So you get a really nice size sleeping space here with the dinette. A couple of good questions that just came in. Uh, Cal was wondering whether or not these are dual pane uh, windows. And um, that is an option on the Mini Winnie and Spirit, which this coach does have currently. Um, we do have the, the dual pane windows that we ordered in on this coach. It's a nominal option. It's about $340 or, a, or so. And so it's, it's pretty affordable, but it really provides you know, not only additional um, R value with respect to insulation, uh, but it also minimizes condensation. I mean, one of the biggest problems we have with recreational vehicles is keeping the humidity out, especially with a split bath setup with, like what we have here. So that's why a lot of the power ventilator fans are always removing humidity out of the coach. Dual pane windows will also assist within the condensation. So a really good question. Uh, a couple other ones that just came in. Uh, Lynn wanted to know what the cargo carrying capacity is on this coach. And uh, this coach has 3,280 pounds, so about 3,300 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. Uh, that 3,300 pounds is set aside for uh, your people, uh, your water weight, and then also any cargo that you may actually include in the coach. Uh, Lynn had also um, submitted a question wanting to know, despite the fact that these are pleated shades, can we put the modified shade system in? And I'm assuming you're referring to the MCD system. And uh, MCD is a great company to work with. They can actually place MCD shades in any coach. Uh, dependent upon whether or not you want them, but the MCD shades are not an option currently on the Mini Winnie in the Spirit. Uh, another question that came in, um, wanting to know whether or not the dinette makes into a bed, and I know that um, this particular model does convert into a, a bed, and Casey had covered the measurements here a little bit ago. Uh, the pedestal table actually drops in to form the underlayment for the bed, and then the remaining cushions are used to convert this into a sleeping surface. So absolutely the U-shaped dinette does convert into a bed. Yep, as you can see down below, there's a ledge um, just located here that that table will rest on when you do make that into a sleeping space. And then your two back cushions that are located against the wall is what will um, fill in the table space. So you have a nice cushioned um, bed there. So um, the next feature next to that would be the uh, jackknife sofa bed. So as you can see, this is covered in the leatherette, which is an option um, on this particular floor plan. And um, very comfortable seating space as well as, of course, makes into a sleeping space as well. So it's simply by lifting up and folding down 
that uh, that'll make into another um, additional sleeping space for you as well. So again, the ability to sleep eight people inside this particular floor plan. And as well, you get some additional storage located below the sofa as well. So then of course, uh, Winnebago does add the overhead storage above the sofa so that you do get storage in pretty much every location possible. And then lastly, of course, is the overhead bed. Um, as you can see, and kind of looking in this over um, the cab over area, it's very light um, and it's a very large space. Uh, the sleeping space area here in the overhead is 57 inches by 95 inches. So again, a really large space located up here. And then of course you have this, the uh, ladder that will attach on to uh, the middle section so that it's easy to get up and down. Uh, this simply just uh, fits right into that space there. And uh, then your ladder will attach to uh, just the front of it so that that way it's easy to get up and down from the uh, overhead bed sleeping area. And so this also converts then into literally a queen bed. The technical uh, specs are actually 57 by 95, so just an expansive sleeping surface up front there. Um, great area for additional sleeping, additional storage. As you can see, one of the really nice things about this overhead area is that it, you actually do get some really good height clearance when you're up here as well. So that, that way you don't uh, feel like you're crammed in the overhead bed space. Get lots of vents located throughout the coach. Um, there's actually three located throughout. Um, you have your overhead, one in your living area, one in the bedroom, and then an additional one in the bathroom. So four <coughs> vents altogether. I think I'm going to take a break here and just cover a couple of additional questions if you guys are cool with that. Um, since I'm kind of the gadget geek here in the dealership, I'll cover the entertainment setup. Uh, the coach does feature the local off-air antenna, uh, which does bring in high-definition digital programming uh, to this 32-inch LED TV that's at residential height here within the galley. Uh, so again, a high definition TV, 32 inches, it is an LED TV, and again, that's tied into the uh, WineGuard local off-air antenna that brings in high definition programming. Uh, a question that had come in uh, from uh, Debbie wanting to know whether or not um, you can add satellite uh, to the Mini Winnie and Spirit, and you absolutely can. Uh, the coach, like the entire Winnebago Industries lineup with the exception of the ERA, uh, is actually pre-wired for satellite. We can add any type of uh, satellite system that you'd like uh, to the Mini Winnie or to the Spirit. And um, we've got a, a wonderful video on our YouTube channel that breaks through Satellite 101. And uh, in next month's webcast, we plan on doing also a, some additional discussion on satellite wiring and satellite TV. So check out that video on YouTube. Uh, it's wonderful uh, Satellite 101 with respect to the three different types of satellites and some comparisons and contrast to uh, Direct TV or Dish Network. So really good questions. Keep your questions coming in, and I'll toss it back to Casey to cover the uh, front uh, of the coach as well as the chassis. All right, so as Ron had mentioned earlier, this is on the Ford E450 chassis. So you do have all of the amenities that come along with that. You have powered windows, powered locks, of course all of your cruise control um, type of settings that are conveniently located right in the steering wheel. Um, you've got your windshield wipers and lights that are located just to the left. Um, you do have tow haul mode that is a part of, um, that is an extra feature that's, that's on a part of that Ford chassis. One of the optional um, features that is on the Mini Winnie that we've specifically outfitted it with would be that you're still getting uh, the rear camera that does have the one-way audio. That's a part of this Pioneer system that you see here in the front dash. Um, so that will be um, not only your rear camera, but also um, your entire radio system for the coach as well. So... Very nice system there, really clear picture on that rear camera. Makes it really easy to navigate and maneuver your coach when you are getting in and out of campsites and parking and what have you. So, um, Otherwise, of course, just your typical things. It's a part of the automotive features with your uh, front AC as well as your, uh, as well as your heat. So. A couple of good questions that have come in. Uh, wanting to know whether or not the cab seats um, rotate and uh, the current cab seat configuration does not. Um, one of the um, uh, questions was whether or not you could actually access the coach from the cab area. 
One nice uh, design element to the way that Winnebago has set up this Class C is literally almost a flush floor doghouse in between the two cab seats. Um, literally just a couple of inches to get in and out. So it's almost as flush as you can actually get from the cab area to the coach. Uh, so the, although the cab seats do not swivel, uh, certainly ease of access to get from the front to the rear. Also, uh, Gene had chatted in a question wanting to know price points. Um, this particular Mini Winnie has a, a base MSRP of about $74,000. Um, the way that we have this optioned out with the two packages as well as the dual pane windows comes in just a hair over 82 in terms of what the uh, MSRP is on it. Uh, Gene had also wanted to know what type of cabinetry this is. Again, forest cherry cabinetry um, built by Winnebago Industries and placed inside the Mini Winnie in the Spirit for 2014. So a good question. So this Ford chassis, of course, has uh, the gross vehicle weight rating of 14,500 pounds. Um, you can tow up to 5,000 pounds with this Ford chassis. Uh, the other option that's available on the smaller 25B floor plan is the uh, Chevy 3500. Uh, chassis instead and um, that has the gross vehicle weight rating of 12,300 pounds. So again that'll be on the 25B floor plan which is that uh, that one features a corner bed um, and is just over 20, 26 and a half feet. Uh, if I can interrupt again, Frank had just uh, chatted in a question wanting to know whether or not the coach does come equipped with uh, levelers. Um, we can actually equip the coach with HWH um, automatic style hydraulic leveling jacks given the fact that we're literally only a few hours from the HWH facility here in Iowa. Uh, it's currently not a factory installed option but we do uh, HWH automatic hydraulic leveling jacks for a lot of our customers and they are factory installed. Uh, factory installed by the HWH manufacturing here in Iowa which is just a couple of hours away from our dealership. So a nice advantage to our proximity not only to Winnebago Industries but also to the HWH manufacturing plant Moscow, Iowa. Uh, Cal had also chatted in a question wanting to know whether or not the um, exterior awning uh, is manual or electric and the outside awning as equipped with the package that we have uh, is an electric powered awning. Uh, the switch being right inside the step well. Yep, the uh, 31K that we're in does feature, it's a 20 foot, it's a 20 foot awning. So you have a really nice sized electric awning. Of course, very easy to use with this simple touch, uh, touch of a button. You, you go ahead and put that in and out. As Ron said, that is part of the upgrade, uh, one of the convenience and accessory package that we've outfitted the Mini Winnie with. Um, it does come standard with the, um, with the manual awning instead. The third, all, all of the floor plans can have the electric awning. Um, if you go with the 31H, that's a 16 foot awning instead, um, which is the other larger of the floor plans um, available in the Mini Winnie. Uh, Monty had also chatted in a question wanting to know uh, who the manufacturer actually is of the Super Slide Out. Uh, this is actually a Schwintech Slide Out, which we've had great success with uh, in the 2012-2013 model year. The advantage to the Schwintech system is it doesn't take up a lot of the space for the cam assemblies uh, within the slide out. So you get a lot more basement storage. And as Casey had mentioned, one of the advantages that we've always had with our 31 foot Class C gas coaches is the fact that they do feature a tremendous amount of exterior storage. Because we are using the Schwintech system, it doesn't take up the cam assembly space down in the basement. So you've got a lot more basement space with a Schwintech slide uh, compared to some of the power gear uh, slide outs that we've used historically. So great questions, keep them coming in. One question that uh, originally came in as soon as we started this broadcast is who does the service on Class C coaches for Winnebago, uh, particularly wanting to know about the Mercedes-Benz uh, channel with our Sprinter lineup. Uh, with our Views, Navions, and Vias and Rayos, uh, the chassis service uh, can uh, be accomplished through basically any Winnebago or or really any RV dealer. It can also be done on your own with respect to periodic maintenance. Uh, the Mercedes-Benz network would handle any chassis warranty claims uh, with respect to um, the Mercedes-Benz power plant. 
with the Ford powertrain, obviously a wonderful network throughout the country because there are so many uh, Ford medium duty truck centers throughout the United States. So, um, but again, periodic maintenance can be done by the consumer. It can be done by any RV dealer, including our dealership being here uh, one mile from Winnebago Industries. So good question in terms of uh, serviceability of both the Mercedes network as well as the Ford network. Uh, Debbie had chatted in a question wanting to know what the weight limit is on the uh, overhead bed. And to be honest with you, I don't know off the top of my head, but if you want to go ahead and just submit a question on our website or give us a call, we can certainly research that and get back to you in terms of what that is. Uh, Gina chatted in a question up front wanting to know whether or not we have cab window blinds. And that is something that we could add to the coach, but currently uh, the way the coach is set up is there is a privacy curtain that is utilized uh, between this snap area and the uh, passenger side, snap side, for uh, providing privacy uh, at night from the cab windows. So wonderful questions today on the uh, all new 2014 Winnebago Mini Winnie and the Itasca Spirit. Uh, Jack had just chatted in a question wanting to know what is the difference between Winnebago and Itasca and why aren't we covering a spirit today? Uh, Winnebago Industries runs through a dual line dealer network. Uh, much like the auto manufacturers, most dealers typically offer one or the other. We're one of a few select dealer throughout the United States that actually offers the entire Winnebago lineup. The advantage to you as a consumer is that we can actually provide an unbiased opinion. Uh, the Winnebago Mini Winnie and the Itasca Spirit um, are identical. In fact, even the color scheme selections are the same uh, on the inside of the uh, Mini Winnie and the Spirit for 2014. And uh, also the pricing is identical uh, between the Mini Winnie and the Spirit. So uh, good question from Jack. Another question that had just come in, um, actually from Ron, wanting to know if any of the U.S. automakers also work on the Mercedes. Uh, we certainly do from a um, uh, maintenance perspective. Uh, if there is a chassis warranty, that would need to be handled by a Mercedes-Benz uh, Sprinter-equipped dealer, uh, of which the network has really expanded here with the success of the Sprinter network uh, with that product debuting all the way back to 2006. So we certainly have a lot of Sprinter-based products on the road. Uh, again, since the 2006 uh, Winnebago View and Itasca Navion came out. David had a, a question that uh, had uh, been chatted in wanting to know whether or not the slide out is flush floor when the coach, um, is the slide out floor flush with the coach uh, when the floor is went out, but you can actually see there is a step up um, to the um, U-shaped dinette. Uh, so it's not a complete flush floor slide out. Um, the slide out certainly does come flush in and out. There is no step up into the sofa area. But again, key advantage to that Schwintec slide out is that you do get a lot more basement storage because there are no cam assemblies underneath that slide out that take up some of your cargo storage underneath. So good question from David. As we're taking some time for additional questions to come in, just a couple things to keep in mind. We'd love to hear your ideas for future uh, webcasts. And um, if you have some suggestions, certainly submit them to our website uh, at litson.com or certainly uh, give any of our sales consultants a call uh, and suggest your topics for future webcasts. Our plan is to literally go through the entire lineup and um, we'll cover these throughout the next few months as well. Linda had a good question that came in, wanting to know whether or not there's a step up into the bedroom. There's just a very minor step up that you can see uh, between the uh, galley area and the split bath. Again, we've had some really great questions today. Um, all new for 2014, the Mini Winnie and Itasca Spirit. Um, they've come back some, with some really popular floor plans. Uh, like Ron said, the 31K that we're in now is kind of a throwback to the 31C that was really popular um, that featured the sofa and dinette um, on, the, on the large slide, as well as, of course, the bunkhouse model, and then the smaller 25B that will feature that uh, corner bed as well. 
good question from Gene that came in wanting to know whether or not we plan on bringing this to the Iowa RV and camping show coming up here at the end of the month uh, at the Varied Industries building at the uh, uh, fairgrounds down in Des Moines, Iowa. And our current plan is to certainly plan on bringing this. Um, hopefully uh, a customer would be interested in purchasing it prior to that, but it, it will be in our lineup as it stands currently. So good question. Yeah, we'll be down at the RV show that's located down in Des Moines. Um, as Ron mentioned, that's in the Varied Industries building um, on the state fairgrounds. That's coming up uh, this fo the following week. I believe that starts the 31st of January and then runs through Sunday, uh, February 3rd. So you can contact any one of our sales consultants um, and we can get you some discounted ticket, ad admission tickets so that you can come visit us at the show. We'll have um, a really great selection of our Winnebago and Itasca lineup there. Um, so uh, definitely check us out if you're in the area and if that works with your schedule. So, As Ron had mentioned earlier, again, kind of the way that we're walking you through the Mini Winnie, uh, we can do that same exact thing with any of the coaches that we have in stock uh, so that we can kind of give you a personalized tour of um, any coach that you might have some more detailed questions on, want to take a closer look maybe inside of some storage compartments, um, see the way that a dinette lays down or a sofa lays down, all of those types of things. Um, we, can, we can do this uh, personal walkthrough with you and any one of our sales consultants so that you can take a closer look at um, any one of our in-stock inventory coaches that you have questions on. So again, in order to do that, uh, just contact us at Litson.com or give us a call um, and we would be happy to set up an appointment for you where we can walk you through that coach. All right, sounds great. Well, if there are not any other questions on the inside of the coach, I'm going to see how brave Josh and Casey are in brave Iowa's winter because we do have a few questions on the outside of the coach. So we're going to cover outside storage uh, in the Mini Winnie and the Spirit. And we're also going to cover the uh, location for the RV batteries. So let's see how tough you guys are and uh, let's head outside. I'm going to grab the keys. After you. All right, so I'm going to try to keep the microphone as close to my mouth as possible. It is a little bit windy uh, here in Fort City today. Next to us here, we're just getting ready to shoot a uh, high definition video on the View Profile 24G that you can see next door here. All right, so for compartments um, or exterior features just in general, so located just outside the door here is where you'll find your LP tank. Uh, this yellow knob here is where you'd actually hook up to fill your LP tank. Um, also located just outside the door, you do have the hookups for um, a TV as well as your electrical outlets. So conveniently located just outside. Uh, Ron's got one of the uh, storage compartments open here. So if, if Josh can bend down here, you'll see that it is a really, uh, really deep storage compartment. As you can see, about my entire arm is about the depth of that. So good storage capacity there. Working our way around, you've got the water heater. This is from your furnace, um, as well as uh, this would be the back of your refrigerator. A really great thing about the Mini Winnie is it does come with the Michelin tires, so really high quality tires here on the Mini Winnie and the Itasca Spirit. Another storage compartment here located just behind that tire. Not quite as deep as the one that we were just in, but again, some really great storage there. Definitely could fit some lawn chairs. And this is that large storage area that I was talking about when we were in the bedroom. So this is what, we, what you'll commonly hear referred to as kind of like a garage style of exterior storage because as you can see it's just massive. Um, so you'd definitely be able to get some really nice, uh, really good storage capacities here, folding tables, all of those larger kind of items that you take along with you when you're RVing. Good convenience factor here on the rear is that you do have the ladder that takes you up to your roof as well as the tube bumper where you can store your sewer hose and then of course your uh, rear camera as well. It's pretty brisk here in Iowa today <laughs> and a bit windy but uh, no snow so we can't complain. Uh, coming around to the driver's side, you do have all of your sewer hookups that are located here. As you can see, Winnebago does a really great job of labeling everything, so it's always very easy for you to use. Uh, fuel fill is located just here, as well as um, here's your fill for your water tanks. And then, of course, if your campground or resort does have cable TV, this is where you would hook that up. All right, located below the slide room. 
Uh, this is where you have your power cord. This is a 30 amp power cord. And this would be your generator. So again, this is the 4,000 watt Cummins Onan uh, gas generator. And lastly, you have another really large storage compartment uh, that you can see here underneath the slide. Really good depth there. So now as we work our way around, we'll get a great shot of the front of the all-new Mini Winnie. And you can see the contemporary styling with the all-new E450 chassis. Then I certainly don't want to overlook uh, Debbie's question with respect to where the RV batteries are located. So as we work our way back inside, Winnebago does a nice job of using smart space technology, computer-aided design, and some logical thought process into putting the RV battery locations in natural light. The thought being during removal when you do lose the overhead lights, uh, that you can certainly gain access to that and use the natural light from the outside to service the RV batteries. We're gonna go ahead and jump back inside. Another question that Gene had as um, we were going around the outside, wanting to know whether or not we'll have people able to provide trade valuations at the Iowa RV and Camping Show. And we certainly absolutely will for that coming up here in two weeks. So again, you can check us out at the Iowa RV and Camping Show at the Varied Industries Building on the Iowa State Fairgrounds in Des Moines here. Not this weekend, but the following. You can contact any of our sales consultants for discounted admission tickets. You get to see a lot of us on videos throughout the month, but it'll be great to meet you all in person if you are able to make it out to the RV show. Another great question that Gene had submitted is whether or not uh, we actually deliver RVs. And uh, we certainly can deliver to your location. One of the things that we take a lot of pride in and that we get great customer testimonials on are the schooling uh, educational orientations that we complete with our customers where we literally do a half day class uh, showing you how to use your coach, what to do, what not to do. We cover maintenance, we cover warranty, and people really have positive things to say about that. We can certainly do that uh, in a live situation like this as well in the event that we deliver to your home. Another great point that Ken just mentioned, uh, thanking us for the outdoor demonstration and the overall presentation. Keep questions coming in. These are wonderful questions that uh, I'm sure many of you out there probably have. So certainly just keep chatting in the questions in the lower right hand corner and we'll cover those as we go. But again, keeping in mind, as Casey had mentioned, in the event that you ever do want to see something more specific to our inventory, our sales consultants on a daily basis are doing live video presentations for customers in the comfort of your own home or office. One unique thing to our dealership for the most part, people are seeing us at the first time when they take delivery at our location, which is literally just a mile uh, north of the Winnebago Industries Manufacturing Plant, making us America's closest dealer to Winnebago, Itasca, and Era here in Forest City. Kevin had sent in a question wanting to know what the uh, fuel mileage is on the Mini Winnie and Spirit. You'll hear a lot of different uh, varying reports. Uh, because of the gross vehicle weight rating in the chassis, um, RV manufacturers are not required to publish uh, EPA fuel economy standards. Uh, you'll hear some dealers tell you, you know, anywhere from 8 to 12 to 14 miles per gallon. The reality of this coach is that our typical customers are averaging anywhere from 7.5 to 9 miles per gallon. Depending upon how they drive, what they're towing, it certainly is predicative on uh, RPM levels. So the one nice thing about the Ford setups now is they're all paired up with the uh, five-speed automatic torque shift transmissions uh, from Ford Motor Company uh, that also include the tow haul mode as well as grade braking systems. Good question that Debbie had just chatted in, wanting to know if we're able to put a fan above the shower. Um, that would have to be in lieu of the skylight. The skylight is a standard feature from Winnebago. Uh, we do have the fan that's located uh, in the uh, bedroom area as well as in the split bath location. Um, we can customize literally whatever you dream up. Um, just would be dependent upon whether or not you want to give whether or not you want to give up that skylight. 
Another good question from Linda wanting to know whether or not the mini winnie floor plans all have a step up into the bedroom. It just depends on the floor plan and the location of the trade-off as to whether or not you want that flush floor location uh, between the cab seats or whether or not you want to have the step up into the bedroom. Most people appreciate the fact that they don't have that step down into the cab area like most manufacturers, but there is that minor step up into the bedroom uh, within the Mini Winnie uh, 31 foot floor plans for that matter. Uh, and the 25B uh, will not have a step up into that area, which is the corner bed floor plan that we'll, we'll be uh, shipping to dealers in early March. So good questions. Again, you can chat in questions in the lower right-hand corner of your screen. One thing that uh, not a lot of people know about the new uh, RV radio that Winnebago is utilizing, Josh, if you want to work your way back up front, you can see a couple of labels on that uh, Pioneer system. Uh, it's GPS ready. It certainly is um, MP3 compatible with the USB or the auxiliary input jack. But this also has a similar setup to the General Motors lineup called MyLink in which you can actually stream that Pandora radio right off of your smartphone. So a nice IntelliLink that can be set up between that front head unit, that front radio, uh, and your smartphone. It also integrates in with the rear view camera monitoring system. Kevin had sent in a question wanting to know whether or not the passenger and uh, driver chairs do swivel. Uh, these two particular chairs do not currently. Again, keeping in mind it's almost a flush floor between the uh, two cab seats. Uh, we do have swivel seats that are available. Swivel seats that are available in uh, some of our other floor plans, especially a lot of our Sprinter setups, where there isn't the massive amount of residential uh, seating that's in the 31K as you see here. But a wonderful residential setup because it does have that TV location right across from the sofa area. So good question that was uh, just sent in by Kevin. I know several of you had questions with respect to the U-shaped dinette. Just a massive U-shaped dinette, but uh, Casey has converted this U-shaped dinette into a sleeping surface. So just a large, massive sleeping surface that uh, you can utilize. The coach has the capability of sleeping eight people uh, with uh, two in the U-shaped dinette, two in the sofa bed, and then two in the overhead. Yes, kind of heard me rustling around as I was uh, making that into a bed. And so basically all that I had to do um, was go ahead and take the table out which has these two pedestal legs on it. Um, so you just simply take the table out and then it folds down onto that ledge that we showed you earlier in the walk around uh, so that you do get this really nice large sleeping space. As you can see there's a uh, seat belts located throughout the U-shaped dinette as well as on the uh, jackknife sofa. As Josh is doing some panoramic shots of that, Debbie had questioned uh, with respect to the towing capabilities. Uh, this Mini Winnie is set up to pull 5,000 pounds. It does include the factory installed towing package uh, with a two inch receiver on the rear. It also includes the wiring to the rear. Uh, we can set up any type of a towed vehicle for you. Uh, we can set up the wiring for a utility trailer, a car hauler, um, uh, you know, a, a scooter hauler, whatever you'd like. Uh, but again, the coach is equipped right out of the chute with a 5,000 thousand pound factory installed tow package. Um, we have a wonderful section on our website that talks about dinghy style towing. Uh, it's under the um, uh, right hand side of the drop down tabs that covers uh, some nice excerpts from uh, Motorhome Magazine that also includes what vehicles are dinghy uh, towable. Uh, we can certainly also set it up with uh, trailering or uh, if you prefer, we can also set up different types of uh, trailering uh, for a flatbed um, car hauler. Um, or even a, a car hauler that lifts the front end up off the ground. But the preferred method of towing uh, within the RV industry is certainly dinghy towing, which means all four wheels on the ground, it's the safest way, it's the least hassle. Um, we utilize a lot of different towed systems. Uh, for the most part, we use Blue Ox because of the outstanding customer service they offer. They offer parts in most of the major resorts and campgrounds. Uh, it's just very easy to utilize. And the tow bar stays in a locking hitch pin on the RV so that you never have to worry away. And you also don't tell that your uh, car is being towed from the front of the coach. 
or from the front of the car, excuse me. But absolutely wonderful questions today. Uh, Dan had a good question that was just chatted in wanting to know if we do uh, dinghy style setups. Uh, we have literally, I think, done just about every type of a setup. Um, we also uh, have a General Motors dealership, uh, sister dealership across the street that we do most of our dinghy style setups. Again, we prefer to use Bullocks. We've had the best success with it. Our customers have had the best success with it because of their service and their parts uh, availability. But uh, we can do those setups right here in-house. It works out really well for customers because it gives them the opportunity to drive here uh, during the course of the educational orientation, which takes about a half a day with uh, our technicians and as people are becoming acquainted with the coach we can be setting up your vehicle to be dinghy towed behind the mini winnie in the spirit or any of our coaches that that we offer here uh, gene had another question i'll let casey cover this um, with respect to the um, membrane roof and uh, some of the warranty characteristics of it so again, kind of as we had as we had talked about earlier in uh, the walkthrough, uh, the exterior material is um, it's it's a membrane roof, so it's it's a type of rubber covering that's on the roof. Um, again, that has a 12-year warranty that comes with it uh, for the parts of the membrane itself, as well as a five-year warranty covering any labor that's um, that's involved in that. So um, it does come with a really great warranty for you, um, very similar to uh, what's offered in the rest of the uh, Winnebago lineup, which is the one piece fiberglass roof that comes with a 10 year warranty. So you do get an extra two years that covers the parts of that. Um, and as you're kind of noticing here, as Josh is looking um, at the ceiling material, this is the hard vinyl ceiling. Um, nice white color that really kind of brightens things up, which you can really tell in that overhead area, uh, the way that it is really bright up there, along with all of the uh, vents that are located throughout the coach. Yeah, and to get a little bit more technical on it, it is a um, Dicor roof, uh, which is uh, made by Dicor Products. Uh, it's a bright ply, bright tech, uh, rubber membrane roof. Uh, very easy to clean, uh, certainly trouble-free maintenance. Um, and again, as Casey mentioned, a 12-year parts warranty on it. So um, really good question on that um, extended warranty that's included on the roof. So uh, that's kind of the specifics as far as the roof warranty goes. Of course, along with that, you'll get several other warranties that will come along with the coach, not only from Ford, uh, but also some additional warranty from Winnebago that covers, um, you'll have a three-year 36 that will cover all of your structure, sidewalls, subfloors, and of course your slide-out room uh, that's located here in the coach as well. Um, and then also Winnebago wraps the entire coach and all the inputs that they put inside of it um, for your first year or 15,000 miles. Uh, Linda had also chatted in a question wanting to know, uh, excuse me, it was Kevin actually that had chatted in a question wanting to know, is the awning manual or electric and how long it is? Um, the awning is, it is powered, so it's an electric awning. So again, that uh, the switch for that is conveniently located just inside of your entry door so that you can stand and watch as you put that awning in and out. Um, on the 31K that we're currently in, that is a 20 foot awning. Um, that, that does vary depending on the floor plan uh, that you choose. As, um, as I'd mentioned, the particular coach that we're in now is the 31K and that has the 20 foot awning. However, um, the 31H would be a 16 foot awning and the 25B actually has a 17 foot awning. Um, so again, really nice awning. You'll get some good patio space while you are um, so that you can utilize the outside space of your coach as well. And again, the fact that it's electric is a part of the convenience package that we've particularly outfitted this Mini Winnie with. Um, again, that is available on the Mini Winnie as well as the Spirit. Uh, otherwise, what comes standard with the coach is the manual patio awning. Linda had a great question and a really relative point with respect to uh, towing, wanting to know, even though she had heard that you are not supposed to tow behind the coach for the first thousand miles. Um, great point. And uh, if you uh, open up the Ford 
chassis owner's manual, the break-in procedure is absolutely recommended to not tow during the first thousand miles, which really gives our dealership a distinct advantage uh, compared to other dealers throughout the country because these coaches are brought out to local dealers uh, in most cases with a towed car behind those. Um, a lot of this comes down to a choice that the consumer makes as to whether or not they want to tow their own personal vehicle uh, behind uh, the uh, Ford chassis during the first thousand miles. It certainly will not void any warranties, uh, but if you were to follow the letter of the recommendation from Ford Motor Company, it certainly would be uh, during crucial break-in to not tow during the first thousand miles. We also cover a wonderful step-by-step break-in procedure during our educational orientations uh, when consumers are taking delivery of their, of their vehicle uh, here at our dealership. So good questions today. We're going to keep questions and answers going here just as long as they last. Josh is focusing on some nice shots here on the ceiling. The coach does certainly feature a 15,000 BTU ducted air conditioner up on the roof, ducted throughout, which is a wonderful comparison to um, other manufacturers within their initial Class C gas offerings that most times are not ducted throughout the roof of the coach. So. Again, wonderful forest cherry cabinetry handcrafted here in Forest City and installed by Winnebago Industries. I sent Casey on a little road trip to determine and answer Gene's question as to whether or not the roof is a crowned roof or if it is flat and it is a flat roof up on top of the Mini Winnie in the Spirit. So good question. As you can tell, we kind of get to do some learning along with you today uh, since this is our first Mini Winnie um, in Itasca Spirit here at the dealership. And of course, it's a brand new line from Winnebago and is a 2014 model. So. Good question sent in from David wanting to know whether or not you can walk on a uh, rubber membrane roof and you absolutely can. Uh, just like any type of a roof surface, including the uh, fiberglass roofs that are in uh, the rest of the Winnebago lineup, uh, it certainly can provide a, a slippery surface. So we, we recommend uh, certainly being up there as minimal as you can contain it. But um, a, a very high quality roof and, and certainly extends the uh, warranty to the owner for up to uh, 12 years. So um, Winnebago certainly uh, provides the same quality and, and warranty support behind that as we do throughout our entire lineup. So good question come in from David. Josh is focusing in now a little bit on the entertainment setup that you can see that ties into that 32 inch LED high definition TV. It's set up with the HDMI matrix, or excuse me, the HDMI selection system so that you can run that DVD or actually run it as a CD player uh, for your home entertainment system. So uh, again, a CD and DVD player that feeds into the uh, 32 inch LED high definition TV. New request that just came in from Kevin wanting to see if we could actually show the bedroom and bath area again. We'll take one more panning shot to the rear here and keep the uh, question and answer line open for the balance of our TV webcast here today. Again, Josh is walking in and showing the split bath setup with the big shower on the passenger side and then also the split bath for the private toilet closet and the uh, sink area inside the split portion of the bath as well as the hinge door that you can see here that provides privacy into the bedroom area. Again, a residential height style toilet with a foot flush. Wonderful amount of uh, linen closet storage as well as uh, different types of towel hooks and robe hooks. You can see one of the other earlier questions that had come in about the overhead uh, powered ventilator fan with the 12 volt powered ventilator fan overhead.
then again you can see the larger shower area Also, as we cover some of these components, also keep in mind for those of you that did tune in late, we archive all of our webcasts and uh, you can actually watch this at any point in time. Here within the next several days, we'll also complete our high definition walkthrough video. As Josh works our way into the bedroom area again, as Casey had mentioned earlier, a 60 by 80 inch queen bed, walk around queen bed with a tremendous amount of storage overhead as well as shirt closets and a wardrobe closet on the passenger side. This overhead storage here goes all the way through. So that you can see you will be able to fit quite a bit um, here in this overhead space. Located just next to Josh now where he is standing is where the wardrobe closet is located. So as you can see, you get a nice rod um, overhead that you can use for all of your hanging. Uh, get quite a few, uh, quite a few things to fit there in that wardrobe closet. And as I, as we'd mentioned, there is a drawer located just below that, um, actually on both sides, so that you do get some nice nightstand space there as well. Um, over here on the side where I'm standing, um, this is uh, where you do have a little shirt closet. So again, you do get a rod located here inside this shirt closet so that you can do some hanging, um, as well as this nice little platform with an additional drawer located below that as well. Josh, if you want to swivel around here, we can show the uh, connections that we talked about earlier uh, where you can, uh, it, it would be very easy for you to add a television uh, should you want one um, here in the bedroom area as you do have all of the connections that you would need in order to do so. It would just be a matter of um, picking out a TV and then mounting it. So Winnebago does, has nice of convenience factors like that that they do add to their, add to their RVs. So as we work our way back up front, again, I want to thank all of you for joining our High Definition TV broadcast today. Join us again next month as we cover yet another introduction into Winnebago Industries' vast Winnebago, Itasca, and ERA lineup. Again, you can chat in questions to us 24 hours a day on our website at Litson.com, work with any of our sales consultants, and create your own one-on-one -on -one live high-definition video appointment at any point in time on any of our in-stock coaches. Again, here at Litson Motors, we are America's closest dealer to Winnebago, Itasca, and ERA here in Forest City, Iowa. Again, thank you for joining us, and Happy New Year to you all.